Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Sabe. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good. <laughs> Fine. Excellent. Welcome to the class. And I can see Marvin too. Hello, Marvin. How are you? Hello, hello. I'm fine. Excellent. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to the class. Who else is there? I can see a few cameras on. Only two people. And the rest, everybody, I want to see your camera on. Ah, now I can see Carla. Hello, Carla. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine and sick. Oh, <laughs> and you? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Espero que se recupere pronto. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Yeah. All right. Well, welcome to the class. Who else is there? Everybody, welcome to the class. I can see few people with the camera on. All right, I can see Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn, how are you? Hello, teacher, fine. Excellent. I'm good, thanks for asking. And I can see Maylee too. Hello, Maylee, how are you? Hello, fine. Very good, very good. Welcome, welcome to the class. Hello, Kevin, how are you? Hi, teacher. Very good. Nice. Excellent. And Rosa. Hello, Rosa. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am excellent. And you? Nice. I'm good. Thanks for asking. Well, well, everybody, welcome. Welcome to the class. I'm really happy to see you here. Thank you for being on time. Thank you for the one who has the camera on is thursday we are about to finish okay ya nos queda solo básicamente la clase de hoy y la clase del día de mañana y vamos al nivel two how do you feel a ver emocionados preocupados yes. emocionados excellent very good ajá y los demás Emocionada, teacher. Nice. Very good. Very good. So, imagine. Emocionada. Eh, Ojalá en los de clase este también. <laughs> en el otro módulo. <laughs> bueno, esperemos que sí. Uh, aunque no nos avisan con tiempo, right? Tenemos que esperar. Así que, pero esperemos que sí. A ver qué pasa. Y, everybody, okay. quiero que se fijen cómo han avanzado en básicamente un mes. Sí, si se fijan, el nivel dura cuatro semanas. Y en cuatro semanas han progresado bastante. Así que tienen que sentirse orgullosos de ustedes mismos. Se han esforzado mucho. Y estuve revisando la plataforma. Very good job. Ya casi todos han terminado. Tengo un par de personas todavía que no han terminado. Pero la gran mayoría sí ya lo hizo. Así que, everybody, los felicito. Para los que aún no han terminado la plataforma, todavía tienen hoy y mañana para hacerlo. ¿Ok? Así que, please, tratemos de terminar la plataforma lo más pronto posible. No esperemos así al último momento, right? Al último minuto. Así que, para los que no han terminado, que son bien poquitos, realmente los que aún no han terminado, creo que son como dos o tres, ya la mayoría ya terminó. Así que, vamos súper, súper bien. Y hoy vamos a tener bastante practice, como siempre. Y mañana, pues, de igual forma, vamos a tener más practice. La idea es que se vayan súper preparados para el nivel número 2. Así que, everybody, remember, let's try to avoid Spanish. Ustedes se dan de cuenta que no pueden hablar español, ¿ok? Así que tratemos de hablar lo más posible en in inglés. So, let's see, ¿cuál fue el tema? What was the topic that we studied yesterday? Do you remember? Adjectives. Adjectives, yes. ¿Y qué más? Uh -huh. Positive adjectives and negative. Uh -huh. Very good. 
positive en negative adjective. <coughs> y si se fijan, también estuvimos hablando un poquito sobre describing places, usando el there is, there are, and the adjectives. ¿Ok? Did you memorize the adjectives? Yes. Hmm. I hope so, I hope so. Today vamos a ver un poquito más de vocabulary, vamos a ver otros tipos de adjectives, okay? Y vamos a seguir practicando. So everybody, let's start. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. But before, I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, please say present. Um, Adriana Ernestina Contreras. Present. Thank you. Andrea Mariana Garcia. Claudia Noemi Cárcamo. Present. Thank you. Very good. Um, Daniel Armando Rivera. Present. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Tejada. Elmer Antonio Hernández. Eric Alejandro Paul. Jenny Raquel Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Um, let's see. Jocelyn Geraldine Evangelista. Present. Thank you. José Antonio Gómez. Present, teacher. Thank you. José Gustavo Acevedo. Eh, Carla Melisa Martínez. Present. Thank you. Eh, Casey Jaisel Cruz. Present. Thank you. Kevin Josué Martínez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Laura Raquel Navarrete. Mario Roberto Alfaro. Marvin Wilfredo Martínez. Present teacher. Ok. Present. Yes, thank you, Present. Marvin. Ok, thank you. Mónica Elisa Chacón. Present. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Sobeida de la Cruz Méndez. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Vázquez. Teresa de Jesús García. Present. Thank you. And William Alonso Rubio. Teacher. Yeah? Excuse me. Here I am. Uh, okay, sorry. Veo a William. Okay. Y a ah, Elmer Antonio. Okay, Elmer. No worries. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, ahorita le coloco la asistencia. Pretty good. Okay, now let's start sharing the presentation. Can you see? Let's see, let's see. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes? yes. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so today is October 12. And this is the week number four. Casi terminando la unit. Okay. This is the topic that we are going to study today, describing a place, okay? And this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading. Uh-huh, a volunteer, please. Yes, go ahead. The trip a place, class objective, participation with the event, do you see the vocabulary and instructory student? Do they take weight to quart tag a bond place? Thank you. So look, la idea es que hoy podamos describir lugares, describe places, utilizando la estructura y el vocabulary que hemos estudiado durante la semana. Okay. Así que hoy vamos a poner en práctica todo lo que aprendimos esta semana. Espero que se acuerden, all right? So, let's have a quick review. If you remember, we were studying places in town. ¿Se acuerdan de los places in town? Yes? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? 
much. Okay, hey, let's see if it is true. Okay, places in town, if you see here, les voy a poner un pequeño video, okay? Y en cada video van a escuchar um, ciertos lugares. Y ustedes tienen que memorizar qué lugares fueron los que dijeron. All right? Así que vamos a dividir los grupos girls versus boys. Así que girls, which color do you prefer? Black or white? <coughs> girls? Black. Black. Black? Okay, perfect. Okay, the girls are black. Boys, you will be... Yeah, white. Okay, white. girls, give me a color or a number. Two. Uh -huh. Number two. Okay, <laughs> only the girls. Ahorita solo las chicas pueden responder. Okay? Van a escuchar ciertos lugares. Traten de memorizárselo. Van a decir cuatro places. Okay? Obviamente son lugares y vocabulary que hemos estudiado en la clase. Memorícenlos y si me dicen exactamente los cuatro places que aquí dijeron, se llevan el punto. ¿Ok? Pay attention, girls. Si no escuchan el audio, me avisan. Bar. Hospital. And a movie theater. The restaurant. Ok, girls. ¿Cuáles fueron los cuatro lugares? Hospital. Restaurant. Restaurant. Bathroom. Bathroom. Movie, movie theater. theater. Ok, me han dicho hospital, restaurant, movie theater, and bathroom. ¿Seguras? Ok, let's see. Oh, look at this. Hospital, yes. Movie theater, yes. Restaurant, yes. Pero les hizo falta uno. Which one? Bar. 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 Oh, I'm sorry, girls. Very close, but no points. Okay, boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. Number five. Five. Okay. Toy store. The casino. Gas station. Oh. Jail. <laughs> okay. Toy store. Toy store. Toy store. Casino. Casino. Gas station. Gas station. He's missing one. <laughs> <laughs> No, you repeat? No, no yeah. repetitions. Uh huh. What was the last one? Okay, look at this one. Toy store, correct. Casino, correct. Gas station, very good. And what is the last one? Jail. 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 Yes, it was close. Okay. Let's try it again. Girls, it's your turn. Give me a number. Girls, give me a number, please. Six. Six. Pay attention, please. Uh, everybody, microphones off para evitar interferences, please. Pay attention, girls. The supermarket. supermarket. The bus stop. Church. My gym. Uh-huh. Gym, supermarket, supermarket bus stop, bus station, charge. charge. Okay, but let's see if it is true. Oh my gosh, you did it! Yes, supermarket, bus stop, church, gym. Very good, girls. You got a point. Excellent. Remember, guys, you are a team. Some people can memorize the first one, some others the last one. That's the secret. Okay, boys, give me a number. Ten. Ten. Okay, microphones, keep it off, please. Here we go. Factory. Auto repair shop. Wilton Cemetery. Farmer's market. Ooh. Uh-huh. 
Cemetery. Cemetery. Farmers market. Farmer market. Okay. Factory. Factory. Is missing one. No, no idea. <laughs> oh. No idea. Okay, look at this one. Auto repair, auto repair shop. shop. What is the translation for auto repair shop? Mechanic. Yes, it's like mechanics. I'm sorry, boys, but no points. Okay, girls, it's your turn. Give me a number. Uh, Which one? Seven. Seven. Okay, microphones, everybody, please. A jewelry store. <laughs> Nightclub. Beauty salon. I'm a laundromat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Go ahead. Nightclub. Okay. What else? Jewelry store. Okay. Beauty salon. Okay. okay. Laundromat. My gosh. Look at this. You did it. <laughs> Now the girls know the secret. <laughs> okay, okay, you say it correctly. Very good, you got the point. Boys, come on, you can do it. Give me a number. Four. Four. Okay, microphones okay. to avoid interferences, please. Here we go. The mall? Subway station? The ATM? The food court? Uh-huh. Mall? Mm -hmm. ATM. Okay. It's missing one. Gas station. Gas station. So, subway station. Subway station. Subway station. station. And food court. Yes, you did it. Very good. Look at this mall. Subway station, ATM, and food court. Very good voice. Okay. Uh, girls, it's your turn. Give me a number. <clears throat> One. Number one. Okay. The airport? Beach. The hotel. A swimming pool. <laughs> Beach. A hotel. Swimming pool. An airport. <laughs> Very good. You did it. Excellent. Boys, it's your turn. Give me a number. Number three. Three. Okay. Microphones. Keep the microphones off so you can listen to the audio very well. Okay. Here we go. By the pharmacy. The museum. The bakery. This hardware store. Okay. Pharmacy. See you. Bakery. Bakery. Okay. Hardware store. Pharmacy, museum. museum. What is the other one? Hardware store. Hardware store. Es que me están diciendo como cinco y solo son cuatro. Hardware store is missing one. Pharmacy, museum, hardware store. And what is the last one? Repeat. Pharmacy. Okay, pharmacy. Ya lo dijeron. Ya está. Pharmacy, oh. museum, hardware store. What is the last? What is what is it's missing one? Bakery. 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 Okay. All right. Yes. Look at this one. You did it. <laughs> ah, now the boys are improving. Okay, girls, this is the last one for you. Eight. Or nine? Nine. Nine. Okay, here we go. Court. Office. The aquarium. Post office. Mm -hmm. Post aquarium. office. Aquarium. Aquarium. Bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. What else? Girls, 
No idea? Three, two, one. one. Oh, girls. Come on. I understand the listen. Ah, all right. Look, they said court. Post office. Post office. Office and aquarium. I'm sorry, girls, but no points. Okay, sure. boys. It's your turn. Boys, if you answer correct, so mm -hmm. it will be a tie. Okay? Microphone off, please. Here we go. Pay attention. Stadium. It's like an amusement park. A playground. The butcher shop. <laughs> a stadium. Stadium. Butcher shop. Butcher playground. Shop. Playground. 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 Uh, amusement park. Amusement park. Okay, let's see. Yes, look, stadium, amusement park, playground, butter chop. Very good job. And it's a tie. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my gosh. Was it easy or difficult? What do you think? 50 50. 50, 50. 50, 50. Okay. All right. Now, uh, I'm sorry, I haven't seen the message. Maybe can you can you listen to me? I, I couldn't read it. Este no la escucho muy tan fuerte. La escucho un poquito suave. All right. Y los demás, can you listen to me very well? Yes. To you, yes, but the audio is yes. a little low. Okay. So, ¿me escuchan suave? ¿Todos? No. No. Yes. No. No. Oh. no. Solo se escucha así una interferencia. No sé de quién será. Ok. Ahora, Mayling, ¿me escucha mejor? Voy a tratar de hablar un poquito más fuerte. Sí. Ok, perfecto. Thank Gracias. you. Si en algún Gracias. momento no me escuchan bien, me avisan, please. Sorry que no había leído el mensaje. Ok. Now, ya hablamos un poquito de los places in town. Espero que siempre se acuerden. Traten de, re de review el vocabulary, ¿ok? So, estuvimos viendo algunas prepositions of place. ¿De qué prepositions se acuerdan? Vamos a ver. Prepositions of place. On. On. In. 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 in at, and at, at. At. Very good. Ahora, cuando hablamos de prepositions of place, hay otras prepositions que podemos utilizar. Aparte del at, in, and on, vamos a ver un poquito más de prepositions. Uh, please take note, okay? Let's start with this one. In front of. What is the meaning of in front of? Where is the ball? Frente de. Exactly. So, what is in front of you? In front of me, my laptop. How about you? In front of you? My phone. Your phone. Uh-huh. A car. A car, okay. In front of me, a motorcycle. A motorcycle, okay. In front the of laptop. me, uh, The computer. laptop, computer. Kevin? In front of me. Uh, some flowers. Okay, excellent. So, write it down. In front of. Then, we have another preposition. Where is the ball? The ball is behind. Detrás. Behind. Okay? Behind. Si se fijan, está como atrás. So, what is behind you? Behind me is the wall. How about you? Behind me, the door. The door? Another yes. car. Behind <laughs> me is a garden. A garden, another car. Uh -huh. <laughs> what else? The wall. The wall? Okay. So, Behind me. Uh -huh. The door. The door. So, pronunciation, everybody. Behind. Be, behind. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Behind. Now, where is the ball? 
is under. 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 What is the meaning of under? Abajo. Abajo. So, aquí ustedes tienen dos opciones. Pueden decir under o pueden decir below. De las dos formas se puede. ¿Ok? Under, below. ¿Ok? So, under, what is, what is under you? Under me is my cat. <laughs> How about you? What is under? My bed. Your bed, ok. Under, under the table, for example, ¿qué hay? Under the table. A ball. A ball. A ball. Pero en, en el caso de ustedes, under your table, debajo de su mesa, ¿qué hay? Uh, a little chair. Shoe. Ok. Okay. Shoes. 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 Uh -huh. Shoes. Good. Now, where is the ball? It's over. Now, in this case, si se fijan, la pelota está tocando la superficie, sí o no? No. 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 Si el objeto no está tocando la superficie, decimos above. Or over. 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 Okay. over. Por ejemplo, over. si ven hacia arriba, <laughs> what is over you? The roof of my house. The roof. Very good. ¿El techo está tocando el suelo? ¿Está tocando la superficie? ¿Sí o no? Yeah. No. No. No, really. No. no está sobre una superficie. A eso voy. Por ejemplo, si un avión va volando sobre el país, digamos que va cruzando El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. ¿El avión está on El Salvador o over El Salvador? Over El Salvador. Over porque no está tocando mm -hmm. la surface. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. So, above, over es como decir arriba, right? Mm -hmm. O sobre mm -hmm. algo pero sin tocar la superficie. ¿Ok? The sky teacher. The sky. ¿A dónde está la sky? Above. Above. Exactly. Above. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the other case, y este es el que ya estudiamos. Si toca la superficie, entonces decimos. On. 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 Exactly. Next one. Where is the ball? In. ¿Qué dijimos que era? In. Dentro. 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 Very good. Where is the ball? A la next, parte. La parte. Next to. What is next to you? For example, next to me is my door. How about you? Next to me, a window. A window, okay. Next to me is a refrigerator. Refrigerator, okay. What else? Okay, next to. Escribanlo, please. Write it down. Next to. Okay, next one. Look at this. Between. What is the meaning of between? Where is the ball? En medio. En medio. Between. Ahora, cuando decimos between, nos referimos en medio, pero solo cuando estamos en medio de dos cosas. Uh -huh. So, si se fijan acá, ¿cuántas cosas hay? Solo dos. Look. Dos. All right. So, por ejemplo, ah, between the door and the window. Okay. Ah, between the bed and the chair. Solo estamos en medio de dos cosas. Okay. Uh -huh. Between. Okay. Between. Ahora, look at the next example. Tenemos among. Among, la traducción uh -huh. también es como entre. Pero acá es cuando estamos como rodeados. Ya no solo son dos cosas, son bastantes cosas. Por ejemplo, sí, cuando sí. ustedes van a la playa en vacaciones y hay mucha gente, ustedes están uh -huh. between the people or among the people. Among, among. among. among the people, exactly. Porque ahí estamos como rodeados. En medio, pero de uh -huh. muchas cosas, no solo de dos cosas. ¿Se entiende? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's see if you paid attention. Where is the phone? 
The iPhone is, ¿cuál creen que sería la mejor proposition para completar la oración? In, in, in the pores. Yes. yes, that's the one. Excellent. Okay, the woman is. Woman is in front of. In front of. In front of. In front of. In front of the pyramid. Very good job. Where um, what are the keys? Next to on next, the, uh, next the wall. To... Ah, next to Wallet. The keys are next, next to, to the wallet. Very good. <coughs> uh huh. The pile of money. Is, um, is on the table. Is on, on the, the table. table. ¿Por qué no decimos yeah. above? Porque está sobre. Ah, it's on the surface. Excellent. How about this one? The man. Is behind. 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 Yes. A ver si vieran esto en la noche les daría miedo. No. no. No, really? No. <laughs> okay. What are the keys? The keys are under. Under. Under, under. the table. It is under the under table. Under the table. Perfect. Okay, there is a cloud. What is the cloud? Above. It's above. 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 It's above. So, ¿Por qué no puedo decir on en esta oración? Porque no está tocando el suelo. Exactly. Si se fijan, la nube no está tocando la surface. Tampoco está tocando uh, al animalito, right? Por eso decimos uh -huh. above. Uh -huh. Ok. The bench. ¿Qué significa bench? Banca. Yes. Where is the bench? Between. Between. It's between. 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 between the trees. ¿Cuántos trees tenemos? Two. 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 Only two. All right. Uh -huh. Where is the boy? In front of, in front of, front of the TV. TV. In front of the TV. Perfect. And where oui. is the knife? Behind. 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 Very good. Excellent. So, easy or difficult? The prepositions. Easy. Easy? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. The difference of between and in between. Oh, it's basically the same. What happens es que en esta oración estamos diciendo como una oración específica. The bench is in between. Pero si ustedes dicen like the bench is between, también se puede. Basically, las dos formas se puede. In between es solo como para hacerlo más específico, pero si me dicen solo between, it's okay, también se entiende. Ah, ok. Es que nunca lo había visto así. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it's the same. No worries. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. So everybody, listen. Para poder sentir fácil las propositions, tenemos que memorize. Memorize. Exactly. Así que be careful, please. Tratemos de repasar este vocabulary porque las propositions es algo que vamos a usar todo el tiempo. ¿Entendido? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Very good. Do you have any questions so far about the prepositions? No question. Okay, no question. very good. Well, let's continue then. I have a picture here. Where is, let's see, vamos a ver, me responden donde está el objeto, but with the prepositions. For example, where is the laptop? The laptop is on, on the table. On what? On, on the desk. On the desk. On the desk. 
Ah, look, podemos decir varias cosas. Podemos decir on the desk, next to the book. Very uh -huh. good. Where is the umbrella? Umbrella is into the bucket. Very good, in the basket. And um, hmm, where is the clock? Clock. Next to the TV. Uh, Next to the TV. That's a good on idea. The, on the wall. También podemos decir on the wall. Yes. Mm -hmm. hmm, where is the backpack? Backpack. Ah, it's under, under the chair. It's look. Where is it? Under. Yeah. Under the, under. Under the sofa. Under. In this case, you can say under the chair, under the sofa. The chair. So, where are the sunglasses? On the chair. Sunglasses are on the chair. On the chair. On the okay, chair. very good. <laughs> where are the books? Next. The book is on the desk. Mm, listen. Ah, no, 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 no. A book is next. next to the laptop. Okay, but listen, I'm talking no, in no, plural. No, no. Books. The books in are, the are in the closet. Uh -huh. So remember, plural books in the book. closet. Hmm, where is the calendar? On the wall? Mm, not really. Oh. No. Uh huh. Out. Among. Hmm. The calendar, the calendar in is front on the floor. Of the on table. The floor. Ah, okay. In front of the table, on the floor. Yes. Mm -hmm. And where is it? Well, tablet. I guess this is a tablet. So where mm -hmm. is the tablet? In the table. In? On the, on the table. On oh, the table. Okay. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. So. If you memorize the prepositions, it will be very easy, okay? So please okay. practice, practice the prepositions. Mm -hmm. Any questions so far? No question. All right, let's continue then. Now, we were practicing there is and there are plus the quantifiers. Si se acuerdan, estuvimos mm -hmm. practicando un poquito de esto. Keep in mind this topic porque lo vamos a usar el día de hoy. ¿Podemos uh -huh. usar los quantifiers con los singulars? No. 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 Only with? Only plural. 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 Only plural. Si yo quiero decir hay muchos, ¿cómo diría? There are. There are many. Many. A lot of. Or a there are a lot of. A lot of. Si yo quiero decir hay algunos. There are, there are, are some. some. Ok, y si quiero decir hay pocos. There, there are, are few. few. A few. There are a, a few. few. Excellent. A very few. good. Very good. Ok, now yesterday we were describing the city. ¿Se acuerdan? Yes. yes. Ok, let's see if it is true. Let me pick someone. And Jocelyn. Jocelyn, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. In San Salvador, okay. Describe your city. Tell me the things that we can find there. Okay. Uh, there is a hospital. Okay. Mm, there are a restaurant. There are mm. a restaurant, only one. How many restaurants? Only one restaurant? A lot. Ah, okay. A lot of restaurants. 
there are a lot of restaurants. A lot of restaurants. And there is um, the bar. Oh, there is a bar. Hmm, okay, sounds good. Now, let um, me... Uh -huh. No, no. Only that? No. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿O solo eso? Um, there are many... Um, um, high school? Many high schools. Mm, okay, sounds good. So, remember everybody, si es plural, hay que agregarle la letter S a los nouns. Y hay que exagerarla un poquito, okay? Restaurants, eh, schools, okay? Let's exaggerate a little bit. Okay, um, one more person. Jocelyn, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Marvin? Okay, Marvin, okay. where do you live? I live in Nacajutla. Ah, describe your city, please. Uh, there are uh, gas statues. Uh, there, there are, there, are uh, there, is? There, there is. Okay. There is gas statues. There are many restaurants. Restaurants? Restaurants. Uh -huh. um, there are um, uh, all supermarket. 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 Uh -huh. um, there is a beach. A beach. Okay. A beach. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you, Marvin. So everybody, remember, si decimos there is, podemos agregar la palabra a or an. Y si es plural, okay. nuevamente, agreguémosle la s al nouns y exageremos, please. Hospitals. Ok. Supermarkets. Que se escuche que es plural. Now, estuvimos practicando un poquito. Teacher, de... ah, excuse te... me. Yes. How do you say puerto? Ports. Ports. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Ahora, cuando describimos places, en lugar de quantifiers, también podemos usar adjectives. ¿Se acuerdan qué era esto? ¿Qué adjective representaba? Comfortable. Comfortable. Ok. Comfortable. 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 Ok. The elephant is? Big. 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 Otra big. forma de decir big? Huge. 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 The Huge. mouse is? Small. small. Otra forma de decir small? Tiny. 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 Very good. Okay, then the beach is? Nice. 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 Uh, what is this? Disgusting. 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 And this one? Disgusting. Smelly. 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 Okay. Look at the street. Narrow. 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 Illuminated. 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 Dark. Illuminated. Dark. 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 Excellent. Dark. So remember, si yo voy a usar un adjetivo, ¿el adjetivo va antes o después del noun? Antes. Yes. Antes. Siempre va a ir antes del objeto al que estamos describiendo. Ok, mm -hmm. for example, there are comfortable, comfortable rooms. rooms. Ok, or ah, there is a disgusting kitchen, kitchen. area. So, el adjective siempre va a ir... Ah. Entendido, everybody? Yes. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Any questions so far? Okay, if you don't have questions, let's start describing places. I have a question for you. In your opinion, what's the best place to live? What do you think? 
¿Qué estoy preguntando acá? What's the best place to live? ¿Cuál es el mejor, ¿Cuál es el mejor lugar, lugar para, para vivir? vivir? Ajá. So, what do you think? I think Europe. Europe. Okay. okay. What else? Another one? Uh, the best place to live is Canada. Canada. Okay. Who wants? Italy. Italy. Yeah, sounds good. Another place that is nice to live. San Salvador. San Salvador. Yeah, why not? Now, look, ahorita nos vamos a ir de viaje. All right? Do you want to travel? Yes? Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. Nos vamos a ir de viaje a cualquier parte del mundo. Y gratis, everybody. This is for free. La idea es elegir un país o una ciudad y vamos a verla, cómo se ve, y ustedes me van describiendo qué es lo que pueden apreciar en ese país. A ver, aquí les tengo las options. Where do you want to go, everyone? Ajá. Uh -huh. Any idea? Japan. Japan. Okay, where is Japan? Oh, there it is. Okay, everybody. Pasaportes listos? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, let's go to Japan. Can you speak Japanese? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Me neither. But let's go anyway. Okay. This is Japan, everybody. Can you see it? Claro. Yes. Okay. A ver. Yes. Digan. Vayan describiendo las cosas que pueden ver. Claro. Adjetivos. Quantify. Very sunny. Very good. It's very sunny. Hay muchos carros, sí o no? Yes. Yes. I love police. Okay. There are a lot of cars. There are police, officers. Supermarket. Ah, there are supermarkets. Yes. Restaurant. Mm -hmm. There are restaurants. Uh, there is a man. Okay. So look at this one. ¿Cómo se ve la ciudad? Se ve the, clean. The traffic light. Mm -hmm. ¿Ven que la ciudad es limpia? O what yes. do you think? Clean. Very clean. Clean. Okay. Very clean. Hay muchas personas. Illuminated. It's illuminated. Yes. ¿Creen que las calles son narrows? No. 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 Right. No son nada no. narrow. Okay, ¿qué más? Is, the, is it dark? Sunny. Mm, it's sunny. Sunny. Perfect. Uh, what else? Is There it... are a lot of people. A lot of people. Yes. Ah, so do you like the pan? The beautiful. <laughs> it's peaceful. Look at this one. Esta ciudad, no sé cuál es, right? But se ve tranquilo, right? A little quiet. Mm -hmm. Do you like Japan? Yes? That's it. No. <laughs> Como que no le gusta mucho Japan, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, now, si se fijan, para poder describir lugares, necesitamos vocabulary. Yo sé que hay muchas palabras que quisieron poder decir, pero nos falta vocabulary. Okay, so let's review some vocabulary. For example, beautiful. Beautiful. ¿Creen que beautiful. Esa, ciudad, esa ciudad les pareció beautiful? No. No. Well, algunos pueden decir yes, otros pueden decir like no. Uh -huh. Right? Okay. Bright. ¿Qué es bright? Brillante. Yes. O is a synonym bright. for illuminated. Okay? So, la ciudad estaba bright, sí o no? Yes. 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 Crowded. Crowded with a lot of people. Estaba yes, crowded, crowded la ciudad? 
No. Kind of. <ríe> Depende del punto de vista, right? <ríe> ya que estamos acostumbrados aquí a El Salvador, <ríe> que es super crowded, entonces puede ser relativo. Then, dirty. ¿Qué es dirty? Sucio. Sucio. ¿Creen que la ciudad era dirty? No. 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 Really, right? So, empty. Empty. ¿Qué es empty? Vacío. Em vacío. Vacío. ¿Creen que la ciudad estaba vacía? No. No, no really, right? No. Habían personas, habían carros. Ok. Era okay. restaurant. Habían Chum. restaurants, yes. Expensive. What is expensive? Claro. Costoso. ¿La ciudad se veía expensive? Mm, no. Well, no. not really, right? I mean, se veía así como <laughs> normal. <laughs> ok. Large. ¿Qué dijimos que era large? Largo. <laughs> exactly. It's a synonym of big. Then we have messy. What do you think? What is the meaning of messy? Any idea? Okay. Messy es como desordenado, right? Cuando es, hay un gran desorden. So, for example, that city, la city se veía así como messy? No. No. Not really, right? So, it was organized. Mm. Then we have modern. ¿Qué es modern? Modern. So, ¿creen que la ciudad era modern? No. Not really, right? Then we have need. ¿Qué es need? No. Mm, no. Not really. Need es un sinónimo de clean. ¿Ok? So, tenemos clean. Neat es como súper limpio, súper ordenado. ¿Ok? So, ¿la ciudad, okay. ¿la ciudad se veía neat? ¿Sí o no? Yes. Yes? yes. Good. Ok, Daniel, I'm sorry. Creo que su micrófono está generando algo de interferences. No sé si es por las manos libres o, o no sé, pero genera un poquito de interferences. I'm so sorry. Ok, luego tenemos new. ¿La ciudad se veía new? Yes. No. ¿Cómo se veía la ciudad? ¿Qué es lo opuesto de new? Old. Old. The old. La ciudad se veía algo old, right? Mm -hmm. Noisy. What is noisy? Ruidoso. Ruidoso. Yes. So, ¿creen que la ciudad era ruidosa? Bueno, no escuchamos el audio, right? But, ¿qué creen ustedes? ¿Creen que esa ciudad es ruidosa? No. 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 Not really, right? Really so, quiet. Lo opuesto de noisy is quiet. quiet. Okay? Then we have spacious. ¿Qué es spacious? Espaciosa. Yes. yes. Es lo opuesto de narrow. So, las calles de la ciudad eran spacious or narrow? Spacious. Spacious. Traditional. Mm. ¿Se veía traditional? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Sounds good. All right. So, copy these adjectives, please, mm -hmm. porque los vamos a utilizar. Okay. Yes. Copy. Copy the adjectives. Vamos a describir places y vamos a utilizar estos adjectives. Así que, please, copy. Copy the adjectives. Let me know when you finish. Está cargando el celular. Me Be careful with the microphones.
Did you finish? ¿Ya los copiaron? Yes. Yes, teach everybody. Yes. All right, let's see. ¿Qué dijimos que era Messi? Desordenado. Desordenado. Okay. Desordenado. ¿Qué era crowded? Poblado. Poblado. Okay. So, lo opuesto de crowded? Empty. 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 Very good. ¿Qué dijimos que era noisy? Ruidoso. Ruidoso. Okay. Yeah. Um, lo, eh, lo opuesto de spacious? Narrow. 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 Excellent. Very good. Very good. Okay, now look at this. I have different pictures. Describamos estas pictures utilizando esos adjectives. For example, look at this. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo describirían esta picture? ¿Qué adjetivos utilizarían? Empty. Empty, old, mm -hmm. traditional, old, empty, traditional, old, dirty, dirty, empty, dirty, yes, very good. How about this picture? Beautiful, beautiful, nice, beautiful, expensive, expensive, yes, modern, there is a big, big house, uh -huh, yes. A ver, ¿le gustaría sí. ir ahí para vacaciones? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that is dark or illuminated? Illuminated. 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 Very good. Okay, how about this one? Illuminated. Illuminated. Beautiful. Beautiful. ¿Se ve limpio o sucio? Large. Clean. 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 Modern. Large. Yeah. Yeah. New. 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 Espacio. Spacious. Cool. How about this one? <laughs> Cualquier parecido, right? <laughs> Noisy. 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 Crowded. Crowded. Messy. Messy. Mm -hmm. Noisy. Noisy. Is it dark or illuminated? Dark. Dark. It's a little illuminated. Bueno, tenemos varias luces. It's 50-50, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. Como que San Salvador, right? I, <laughs> I found a picture on the internet, so I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now, very good with the adjectives. It's time to practice listening. But look, let's see. Ahora que ya sabemos los adjectives, ¿quieren ir de viaje otra vez? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, pero yes. ahora in English. Somos turistas, everybody. So we need to talk in English. Gracias. So where do you want to go? India. India, really? Okay, let's go to India. Okay, let's describe. What can you Motorcycle, see? Motorcycle, pharmacy. Okay, pero usemos there is and there are junto con los adjectives, please. There are motorcycles. It is crowded. Mm. There are. There is. There is. <laughs> there are all the streets. There are. All... There is a museum. There is a museum. Yes. What else? Is it clean? Or dirty? Or messy? There are many motorcycles. There are many motorcycles, yes. ¿Cómo son las calles? Son spacious. Old. Old. Son narrow. What is there it? is messy. Narrow. 
narrow mm -hmm. street. So, podemos decir, there are narrow streets. <laughs> Look at there, there are cows. <laughs> okay. ¿Qué más? There, there are some cows. There are some cows, yes. Is it quiet or noisy? Noisy. And a little noisy. noisy. Yes. Do you like India? No. 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 Not Not really. Really. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to another place. Ahora, India. India was modern or old? Uh, oh. 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 Yeah. Okay. So everybody, where do you want to go now? Brazil. Where is Brazil? Brazil. Ah. Brazil. <laughs> okay. Can you speak Portuguese? No? Yes. No. Yes. yes. Ah, cool. Uh, let, tell me something in Portuguese, please. Argentina. <laughs> Argentina. Okay, but let's <laughs> to the band. Let's go to Brazil <laughs> first. Okay. See? That is Copacabana's self tip. You actually Okay, go ahead. What can you see? There is beautiful. beautiful. There are beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. There Very are noisy. It is noisy. I see. So, there are a lot of there is crowded. Yeah. There is a lot of people. Yeah. There is illuminated. There is illuminated, yes. There is a nice view. It is an there is a nice view. Mm-hmm. Traditional. It's traditional. It's traditional or modern? What do you think? It's, it's modern. modern. It's pretty modern. It's modern. Mm, what else? Is it clean or dirty? Clean. It's clean. It's clean. clean. Look, uh, buildings that are. ¿Cómo diríamos esto? Buildings, edificios. There are, there are a lot of buildings. There are, there are a lot, lot of, of buildings. buildings. Yes. Do you like Brazil? There are yes. uh, some yes. islands. There are some islands. Yes. Mountains. ¿Cómo diríamos mountains? Some mountain. There are many mountains. There are some there are many. many. Okay, there are some or many mountains. Very good. Now, everybody, be careful with something. And I'm going to explain this. Si ustedes van a utilizar el there is y el there are, no olviden la estructura. Tenemos que decir un adjective, pero después tenemos que decir un objeto o un noun. Okay? Y esto va para ambas. Pero... Si ustedes me dicen solo, ah, there is empty. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Hay vacío. Un vacío. ¿Tiene sentido? Mm, no. O si yo digo, ah, there is crowded. Hay poblado. ¿Se entiende? ¿Tiene no. sentido? No, really. Right? Así que presten atención en esto. Si solo me van a decir el adjective, si no me van a decir un noun, en ese caso no vamos a decir there is, no vamos a decir there are. Vamos a decir it's. ¿Ok? It's crowded. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Que está poblado. poblado. ¿Ok? Now, si yo digo, ah, it's beautiful. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? Está wow. bonito. Que está bonito. Pero tiene sentido si yo digo, there is beautiful. ¿Tiene sentido? No. No, really. Entonces tengo que decir un objeto. El que está bonito. Ok, podemos decir There is a beautiful city. ¿Qué estoy diciendo aquí? 
Hay una ciudad bonita. bonita. O oh, hermosa, right? Recuerden que there is se traduce como el verbo haber, es decir, hay. Así que be careful. ¿Tiene sentido si yo digo, ah, there are noisy? ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? Mm, hay ruidoso. ¿Tendría sentido si yo digo, hay ruidoso? No. 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 ¿Qué tendría que decir yo aquí? It's, It's noisy. Si yo quiero usar there is o there are en este caso y quiero agregar noisy, yo tengo que agregar un objeto que sea ruidoso. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir there are noisy cars. ¿Y qué estoy diciendo ahí? Hay carros ruidosos. Exactly. Ok. So, ¿se entiende la diferencia de cuándo vamos a usar it's y cuándo vamos a usar there is o there are? Yes. So, ojo, it's y un adjective. Esa es la estructura, it's y el adjective. Pero si usamos there is o there are, necesito adjective y necesito un objeto, ¿ok? Adjective y un objeto. ¿Se entiende? Yes. Yes. Ok, hagamos otra practice. Ok, uh, we have more countries over here. If you want to go to Europe. Elijamos un país un poquito así más, más modern. German. German. Corea. Korea. Ok, no veo Korea, pero veo Germany. Ok, let's go to Germany first. Let's see, a ver si nos gusta Germany. Ok, what can you see here? Uh -huh. ¿Qué hay en Germany? Podemos usar it y un adjetivo o podemos usar there mm -hmm. is o there are. What do you think? It's mo es mall, los mall. It's, ah, it's a mall. Or, en este caso, there is a mall. There But, is a mall. Ajá. ¿Qué más? There it's, are many rain. It's, it's raining. It's crowded. It's raining, it's crowded, there are many people. It's modern. It's modern. No. Mm, ¿Qué más? There it's is a bus stop. There is a bus stop. There is cold. It is cold. Hay carros. There are a lot of cars. There are a lot of cars. There are a lot of cars. Anything else? Do you like It's spacious. Very good. It's spacious. Yes. So, do you like German? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Pretty yeah. good. Now, listen. Este es un, un sitio web que me gusta mucho porque les ayuda como a ver lugares y sería bueno que ustedes entraran, vieran los lugares, pero que al mismo tiempo intentaran irlos describiendo. ¿Ok? Así que les recomiendo que hagan eso. O miren una picture, agarren una foto y describan todo lo que pueden ver en la foto. ¿Entendido? ¿Ya? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Now, let's practice listening. Ya estuvimos practicando un poquito el vocabulary. Ahora, listening practice. In this moment, everybody, listen. People are talking about cities. ¿Ok? Ellos van a estar hablando cómo son ciertas cities y ustedes tienen que seleccionar las palabras que ellos utilizan para describir esas ciudades. ¿Ok? So, for example, en la number one, si ustedes escuchan que dicen la palabra great, ok, click in great. Si escuchan que dicen, ah, no, es que esta ciudad es cheap. Ok, entonces, click 
in chief. ¿Entendido? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, para evitar interferences, again, voy a necesitar everybody, micrófonos apagados, please. Tratemos de responder en nuestros notebooks, and later we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. So, microphones off. If you don't listen to the audio, please let me know. Pay attention. Here we go. One. So, tell me about Tokyo. What's it like? I love it. There are so many great things to do. I'm busy all the time. Two. Do you like living here? Well, it's okay. One thing I do like is that there's very little noise. People don't walk down the street with loud radios or anything. It's pretty nice. Three. Do you like it here? It's okay. But it's awfully crowded, and the air is so dirty. To tell you the truth, I'm thinking about moving. Four. What's it like living in New York? Oh, it's really a great city, but you have to pay a fortune for everything. Five. Is Auckland a very big city? Is it crowded? Not really. It's really quite small. It's never very crowded or noisy. In fact, it's like a small town in many ways. Six. So what's San Francisco like? I hear it's very scenic. Yes, it is. The Golden Gate Bridge is great any time of the year. The parks and the ocean are beautiful too. It really is a very lovely city. Seven. What's your hometown like? Is it a nice place to live? It's great, especially for families with children. It's pretty and quiet, and it isn't dangerous at all. Eight. Is Osaka a big place? Sure. That's why I like it. Lots of people. Lots of nightclubs and discos. I don't like small cities. Okay, everybody, did you listen to the audio? Yes? Can you, can yes. you play it again? Sure. Okay, I'm going to play the audio again. Microphones, please. Microphones off. Okay, here we go. Pay attention, everybody. One. So tell me about Tokyo. What's it like? I love it. There are so many great things to do. I'm busy all the time. Two. Do you like living here? Well, it's okay. One thing I do like is that there's very little noise. People don't walk down the street with loud radios or anything. It's pretty nice. Three. Do you like it here? It's okay. But it's awfully crowded and the air is so dirty. To tell you the truth, I'm thinking about moving. Four. What's it like living in New York? Oh, it's really a great city, but you have to pay a fortune for everything. Five. Is Auckland a very big city? Is it crowded? Not really. It's really quite small. It's never very crowded or noisy. In fact, it's like a small town in many ways. Six. So what's San Francisco like? I hear it's very scenic. Yes, it is. The Golden Gate Bridge is great any time of the year. The parks and the ocean are beautiful too. It really is a very lovely city. Seven. What's your hometown like? Is it a nice place to live? It's great especially for families with children. It's pretty and quiet, and it isn't dangerous at all. Eight. Is Osaka a big place? Sure. That's why I like it. Lots of people. Lots of nightclubs and discos. I don't like small cities. All right, everybody. Do you have the answers? 
Yes. Okay, los demás. Everybody, do you have the answers ready? Yes. 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 No. Yes. Okay, let's see. I will pick it individually and you have to tell me the answers. Uh, let me pick someone. Ta -da 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 -da. Rosa. Rosa, in the number one, what is the adjective? What do you think? Uh, great. Great. Yes. Okay, everybody, what do you think? Do you agree with her? Yes. 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 Right. It's correct. Yes. So, si escogieron great, you have one point. Excellent. Okay, Carla, Melissa, Carla, number two, what is the adjective in the number two? Teacher, para serle sincera, yo de eso sí no escuché. All right, don't worry, don't worry. I need a volunteer. What is the answer in the number two? We... Yeah. Quiet. No, it's... Crowded, quiet, or polluted. Quiet. 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 Are you sure? Quiet. Yes. 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 That's the correct one. Very good. Very good. Number three. What is the adjective here? Noisy, Noisy. clean, Noisy. or crowded? Not crowded. Crowded. Are you sure? Yes. 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 That's the one. Okay, number four, Kevin. Can you tell me the answer in the number four? Uh, number four, mm -hmm. great. 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 Okay, everybody, do you agree? Yes. yes. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Yes, that is the one. Very good. Okay, Soveda. Soveda, number five. What is the answer? Yo escuché crowd. Crowded? Sí. Okay, everybody, do you agree? No. No. Why not? The nice thing. It's a small. No. It's small. No. It's small. Small? Are you sure? En realidad dijo que ambas, pero dijo que yes. era small y dijo que no era crowded. De hecho, ajá, dijo que la ciudad era small y dijo una oración que dice It is not crowded, crowded at all. Crowded. Ok, so yo sé que escucharon la palabra crowded, yes, pero la oración es sin negative. It is not crowded. Ok, so si eligieron small, Yes, that's the correct answer. Okay, let me pick Elmer Antonio. Elmer, number six. What is the answer? Number six. Mm -hmm. Boring, small. small, or lovely? Small. Small. Everybody, do you agree? Lovely. No. Lovely. Lovely. Actually, Lovely. yes, that's the correct answer. Lovely. That's good. Volunteer for the number seven, please. Dangerous. Dangerous? Yes. Are you sure? Safe. Not Safe. dangerous. <laughs> safe. Okay, dangerous safe. or safe? Safe. Actually, the correct answer is safe. safe. It yes. was saying, right? Que es un bonito lugar para las personas con familia, con niños. Dice que no es dangerous. So, otra vez, yo sé que escucharon la palabra mm -hmm. dangerous, but it was in negative. It's negative. not dangerous. It's safe. Safe. Very good. Fair. Okay, the last one, expensive. Large or small? Small. La large. Large. Okay, algunos dicen large, otros dicen small. Hmm, what is the correct one? Small. 
small, large. Well, large. Actually, the correct answer is large. Yes. So everybody, how many correct answers did you have? Eight. Eight, okay. Eight. Eight, so good. ¿Y los demás? Seven, teacher, con la Seven. que no escuché. <laughs> okay. Six, okay. How was the listening? Was it easy or difficult? Difficult. 50-50, difficult. Okay, but remember, ya vamos para el nivel 2, así que los audios tienen que ir incrementando el grado de dificultad. Now, listen, we are going to listen to the audio again. Es el mismo audio, lo vamos a escuchar again. Y ahora vamos a elegir la respuesta correcta. En la conversation one, ustedes me tienen que decir qué es lo que dijeron, ¿ok? Si there aren't many interesting places. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? There aren't many interesting places to visit. I'm... Muchos lugares de visita interesantes para visitar. No hay, no hay. Ah, no hay. No en hay. este caso, ¿cuál es el no quantifier? Many. Many. ¿Cuál es el adjetivo? Interesting. Interesting. Place. 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 El noun. Exactly. Ahora, si se fijan, eso es lo que les estaba explicando anteriormente. Si nosotros solo vamos a decir el adjetivo, no usamos there is. Utilizamos it. ¿Ok? Si se fijan, las oraciones que llevan it solo llevan el adjetivo. ¿Ok? No decimos there is, no decimos there are. ¿Ok? Así que vamos a escuchar el audio una vez más y choose the correct a structure, I mean the correct sentence for each one. Are you ready? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Good. Microphones off again, everybody, please, to avoid interferences. Okay, pay a lot of attention. Here we go. One. So tell me about Tokyo. What's it like? I love it. There are so many great things to do. I'm busy all the time. Two. Do you like living here? Well, it's okay. One thing I do like is that there's very little noise. People don't walk down the street with loud radios or anything. It's pretty nice. Three. <laughs> do you like it here? It's okay. But it's awfully crowded, and the air is so dirty. To tell you the truth, I'm thinking about moving. Four. What's it like living in New York? Oh, it's really a great city, but you have to pay a fortune for everything. Five. Is Auckland a very big city? Is it crowded? Not really. It's really quite small. It's never very crowded or noisy. In fact, it's like a small town in many ways. Six. So what's San Francisco like? I hear it's very scenic. Yes, it is. The Golden Gate Bridge is great any time of the year. The parks and the ocean are beautiful too. It really is a very lovely city. Seven. What's your hometown like? Is it a nice place to live? It's great, especially for families with children. It's pretty and quiet, and it isn't dangerous at all. Eight. Is Osaka a big place? Sure. That's why I like it. Lots of people. Lots of nightclubs and discos. I don't like small cities. So, everybody... It was the same audio. Do you have the answers? Can you play it again? Sure. Everybody, do you want to listen it again? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, let's do it. Microphones off, please. Everybody, microphones off. Pay attention. Here we go. One. So tell me about Tokyo. What's it like? I love it. There are so many great things to do. I'm busy all the time. Two. Do you like living here? Well, it's okay. One thing I do like is that there's very little noise. People don't walk down the street with loud radios or anything. It's pretty nice. Three. Do you like it here? It's okay, but it's awfully crowded and the air is so dirty. To tell you the truth, I'm thinking about moving. Four. What's it like living in New York? Oh, it's really a great city, but you have to pay a fortune for everything. Five. Is Auckland a very big city? Is it crowded? Not really. It's really quite small. It's never very crowded or noisy. In fact, it's like a small town in many ways. Six. So what's San Francisco like? I hear it's very scenic. Yes, it is. The Golden Gate Bridge is great any time of the year. The parks and the ocean are beautiful, too. It really is a very lovely city. Seven. What's your hometown like? Is it a nice place to live? It's great, especially for families with children. It's pretty and quiet, and it isn't dangerous at all. Eight. Is Osaka a big place? Sure. That's why I like it. Lots of people. Lots of nightclubs and discos. I don't like small cities. All right. So let's see what the answers are. All right. In the number one, what will be the answer? There aren't many interesting, interesting places to visit or there is a lot of things to do. B. There is a lot of things to do. There is a lot. Yes. Yes. And yes, that's the correct one. Number two, volunteer. Mm -hmm. Me. Yes, Letter A. Can you read it, please? Letter A. People are noisy in the street. Hmm. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Hmm. Actually, guys, the correct answer is the letter B. It's nice and quiet. La persona estaba diciendo que la ciudad no es ruidosa. Dice que las personas no andan en la calle con radios ni así. No que la ciudad es bastante quiet and it's nice. Así que si seleccionaron la letter B, that's the correct answer. Now, let me show someone. William, William, number three. What is the correct answer in the number three? The streets are not crowded. The streets are not crowded. Everybody, do you agree? The air isn't clean. Or the letter A, the air isn't clean. Everybody, what do you think? A or B? A. A. And yes, the letter A is the correct one. Okay. Let's continue with da, 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 Mario Roberto. Mario, number four. What do you think? Um, everything is expensive. Everything is expensive. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Yes. Yes, it's New York. <laughs> In New York, everything is expensive. Volunteer for the number five. What is the answer in the number five? It's pretty hey. small and quiet. Small and quiet? Yes. 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 Sure? Yes. 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 Yes.
How about in the number six? What is the correct answer in the number six? Letter B. The scenery is beautiful. Do you agree, everybody? Yes. 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 Yes, that's the correct one. Very good job. Number seven, volunteer for the number seven. Letter A. 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 It's a good for family. It's good for families. Good job. And the last one, it's a small city or it has great nightlife. Letter B. It has a great it's a night great life. life. Yes, that's the one. Very good job. Okay, everybody. ¿Cuál, ¿Cómo sintieron ese exercise? Recuerden que es el mismo audio, right? Pero ¿cuál sintieron más fácil? ¿La primera parte donde solo seleccionábamos el adjective? Mm -hmm. ¿O la segunda parte donde seleccionábamos la oración? La segunda parte. The first part. Ah, ok, para algunos the first part, para otros la segunda parte. In this exercise, yes. en la segunda parte, how many correct answers did you have? Seven. Seven, ok. ¿Y los demás? Five. Five. Seven. Seven. Seven, Seven. Okay. Six. Six, ok, so good. So everybody, you see, you are doing great. A veces en los audios hay que prestar mucha atención. No solamente se trata de que, ay, como yo escuché nice, yo voy a decir que es nice. No, really, porque a veces tenemos que escuchar, tal vez la oración está en negative, ¿ok? Y por eso no puede ser nice. Así que, be careful. Poquito a poco vamos mejorando el listening. ¿Entendido? Yes. Yes. Ok, now ya practicamos listening, ya practicamos grammar, vocabulary. ¿Qué toca ahora? What do you think? Conversation. Yes, it's time to speak. Ok, we are going to have a speaking practice y la idea es describir lugares. Ok, nos vamos a concentrar aquí en El Salvador. Imagínense que ustedes se topan con un turista y el turista quiere saber qué lugares visitar del Salvador, ¿ok? El turista le dice, hey, what places do you recommend? ¿Qué les está preguntando ahí? ¿Qué lugares, ¿Qué lugares les recomendamos? Exactly. So, imagine that I am from another country and I say, hello, Hey, what places do you recommend? So everybody, what would you say? Mm -hmm. What places in El Salvador do you recommend? A beach. Tunco Beach. Mm -hmm. Suchitoto. Suchitoto. Cuatepeque. Lake. Cuatepeque Lake. What else? What else? Only that? Ruta de las Flores. Ruta de las Flores, yes. So, listen. Today, quiero que piensen en un lugar. Only in El Salvador, please. No pensemos en otros countries. Ahorita concentrémonos in our country. So, elijan un lugar, un lugar bonito en El Salvador que ustedes crean que pueden recomendar a un turista. Y quiero que lo describan Usando there is, there are, y quiero que utilicen adjective. ¿Ok? For example, imagine in this moment, yo les voy a recomendar un lugar. I will recommend Atlantis Water Park. Have you ever heard about Atlantis? Yes. ¿Han escuchado de ese lugar? Yes. 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 Ok, so look at this one. Les voy a decir a dónde está, así que así lo van a hacer ustedes también. Atlantis, it's on, porque voy a decir el nombre de la calle. It's on Costa del Sol Street in La Paz. In porque es una city, ok? So, 
Voy a describir algunas cosas de Atlantis. For example, you know, in Atlantis, there are a lot of big water slides. ¿Qué son slides? Toboganes. Exactly. Also, in Atlantis, there is, there is a huge wave pool. ¿Qué es una wave pool? Hola de piscina. Una piscina de olas. De olas. Okay. Exactly. So, in this case, also in Atlantis, there are nice pools for kids. ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? Mm -hmm. Piscinas para niños. Correct. There are restaurants with delicious food. There is a large river. There is a big parking lot. Okay? So, si se fijan, estoy describiendo el lugar usando there is, there are, y le estoy colocando Adjectives. En algunas oraciones incluso agregué algunos quantifiers, pero ese ya es opcional. Así que eso mismo quiero que hagan ustedes. Elijan un lugar, díganme a dónde está ubicado, por lo menos la ciudad, right? Y describan lo que pueden encontrar ahí. La idea es convencer al turista de que el turista vaya a ese lugar. ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Ok, listen. Okay. Les voy a dar cinco minutos. Y en esos cinco minutos quiero que empiecen a organizar sus ideas. Pueden escribir para que no se les olvide. Y luego le van a presentar sus ideas a sus classmates. Ok? Así que, everybody, empieza el tiempo. Tienen cinco minutos para pensar en sus ideas. Elijan un lugar. Espero que no vayan a elegir el mismo, right? Así que, go ahead, everybody. If you have questions, please let me know. No olviden agregar los adjectives, everybody. Usando there is, there are. Tratemos de usar los adjectives que hemos estudiado este día, please. If you have questions, let me know, please.
Two more minutes. Dos minutos más. Go ahead, go ahead. If you have questions, let me know, please. Okay, everybody, time's up, five minutes. A ver, ¿ya tienen listo el lugar? Yes? ¿Ya pensaron? Yes. yes? Good. Okay, everybody, vamos a ir a los breakup rooms y quiero que imaginen que sus classmates son turistas, okay? Así que, remember, turistas, no Spanish, right? Así que, explíquenle qué lugar le recomiendan visitar and describe it. Uh, do you have a question before going to the breakup rooms? No? Okay, let's go to the breakup rooms. Zero Spanish, please. Let's go. Hello. 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 Okay, comiencen, everybody. Who wants to be the first one? Me. Excellent. Okay, everybody, pay attention. Elmer va a recomendar un lugar. Así que, pay attention, please. Go ahead, Elmer. Okay. I will recommend a place in La Unión. There is a... The name is... is Mountain Spirit. There is a beautiful view. There is a night cafeteria. And and you can you can to camp to camping. Finish. Mm, but give us details with the adjectives. ¿Qué más podemos ver en ese lugar? Try to use more adjectives. 
Tratemos de usar bastantes adjectives, everybody. ¿Qué más? Dígame dos, dos oraciones más. ¿Qué más podríamos decir? You can... There you is, can... there are... There is a, a town, a high town. Mm -hmm. uh, no, excuse me, there, there, there is a, a high tower. Okay. And there is a, there are a many, many explorer jump, play, jump, play. Okay, it sounds interesting. All right, mm -hmm. thank you, Elmer. There, oh. there, uh -huh. are, there are a lot of, a lot of islands. A lot you of islands? The three countries. Sounds good. Out of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Sounds good, sounds good. Thank you, Elmer. Who's next? Recommends Suchitoto. X, X is uh, Department Cuscatlán. And also you say... I didn't write. I didn't write your answers. Okay. Can you it. can you repeat again, please? Okay. <laughs> your re, your resume is a nightlife. Okay. I choose Sunset Park. Uh, Sunset it's Park. Okay. Sunny. It's sunny. It's good for families, and it's clean. Uh, there are many mechanic games for kids. There are a lot of restaurants with delicious food, and there is a beautiful scenery. Okay, I got it. Centro Histórico. Okay. 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 Repeat. Entonces... <laughs> Finish teacher. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dieron muchos details. <laughs> yes? A little. Ah, okay. <laughs> Carla, tell me the place that William recommends. Downtown San Salvador. Ah, is that true, William? Yes. Hmm, William, tell me what Laura recommends. Um, green, the green, um, cerro. Which one? Cerro green. Ah, okay. <laughs> Laura, is that true? Yes. All right. Remember, eh, nombres propios no se cambian, entonces el cerro verde es un nombre propio, así que decimos el cerro verde. Okay? Okay. So, Laura, tell me the place that Carla recommends. Uh, the Tunco Beach. Is that true, Carla? Yes. Aha, very good. Okay, listen, voy a revisar un grupo más. So, pueden seguir generando más ideas y luego regresamos al salón principal. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, very teacher. good. Thank you. So, Beida. Um... Pues, they are, um, bueno, como había mencionado anteriormente, como no conozco muchos lugares, el que más me, me gusta, pues, ir, es a plan, ir, ir a planes de renderos, ¿verdad? Eh, y is, es, Big, there is view, view free. Yeah. Um, eh, 
they is um large nada más y me quedo le hago la pregunta hoy a ver yes. aquel que quedó a media <laughs> what what place do you recommend Jenny I don't finish. 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 Ya no más. Ok. No repeat. <ríe> Para que no me olvide yes. lo que dijo. Un repeat. <ríe> ah, I recommend uh, Cuatepeque Lake. Lake. Cuatepeque. It is on el Congo Street, Santa Ana. Uh, there are a lot of activities. There are aquatic sports. There are many restaurants. There are many bars. Uh, there are aquatic motorcycles. What, what place do you recommend? Yes, Cerro Verde. It is in Santa Ana. There are, are, there are, there are a lot of trees. There is a cold climate. It's a quiet, a quiet. It's a big, there is a beautiful view, it's a relaxing, and there are few restaurants. Time's up, time's up, time's up, everybody. Let's go back. Okay, let's go back. All right, all right, everybody. Time's up. How was the practice? 50-50. 50-50. 50-50. Okay, 50 -50. did your classmate recommend good places? ¿Les recomendaron ahí good places? Yes. 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 Ah, okay. Which places did your classmate recommend it? San Benito City. San Benito. Okay. Hey, what else? El Cerro Verde. Cerro Verde is very popular porque escuché a varios grupos hablando del Cerro Verde. Cool. What else? Don, Sunset Park. Sunset Park. Carla, what do you say? Downtown San Salvador. Ah, yeah, San Salvador downtown. downtown. ¿Qué más? De Cameron Salinitas. Ah, so good. Oh, right. Did your classmate use the reason that are? Yes. 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 Did your classmate use the adjectives? Yes. 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 Spanish? Yes. Oh, wow. I know. <laughs> Remember, your classmate, they are tourists. They don't speak Spanish. Okay, listen, I'm going to check some of your presentations, but first, I'm going to check attendance. When you listen to your names, say present. Um, Adriana Ernestina Contreras. Present. Very good. Andrea Mariana Garcia. Present. Thank you. Claudia Noemi Cárcamo. Present. All right. Eh, Daniel Armando Rivera. Okay. Uh, Elmer Alexander Tejada. 
Elmer Antonio Hernández. Present. Very good. Um, Eric Alejandro Paul. Jenny Raquel Figueroa. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Geraldine Evangelista. Present. Very good. Jose Antonio Gomez. Present. Okay. Jose Gustavo Acevedo. Um, Carla Melissa Martinez. Present. Okay. Casey Jaisel Cruz. Present. Thank you. Kevin Jose Martinez. Laura Raquel Navarrete. Present. Okay. Mario Roberto Alfaro. Present. Okay. Marvin Wilfredo Martinez. Present, teacher. Okay. Meili Eunice Reyes. Present. Okay. Mónica Elisa Chacón. Present. Okay. Rosa del Carmen Rojas. Present, teacher. All right. Sobeita de la Cruz Méndez. Present. Okay. Susana Beatriz Vázquez. Teresa de Jesús García. Present, teacher. Okay. And William Alonso Rubio. Present. All right. Very good. So, everybody, I was listening to some interesting sentences. For example, the following. Look at this one. Puedo decir there is a lot of? No. ¿Por qué no? Is plural. Ah, very good. No puedo usar el quantifier a lot of con un singular. Lo correcto sería decir there are, are a lot of. Ahora, si tengo plural, there are a restaurant. Is that correct? No. What is the correct one? There are restaurants. Yes. We don't need the letter A. Okay? Be careful, please. Okay, vamos a escuchar algunas recomendaciones de sus classmates. Let's see. Vamos a escuchar a... Monica. Okay, Hi. Monica, what place do you recommend? I recommend uh, San Benito. Uh, yes, San Benito. <laughs> okay, go ahead. It is in on Boulevard El Hipódromo Street and is in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. There is a big city. There are a lot of exclusive restaurants. There are some banks. Uh, it's crowded and it's safe. Um, there is there is a nice shopping mall, and there are many modern hotels. All right, very good sentences. Excellent. Thank you, Monica. So let's. Sí, who else, who else? Vamos a escuchar ahora la recomendación de William. Okay, William, what place do you recommend? No. No, um, downtown, San Salvador, downtown. Okay. Now it's very safe it's illuminated uh, it's it's spacious uh, there are some restaurants mm, there is a big church and there is uh oh there are a lot of people um no more okay very good nice thank you william so everybody unfortunately we don't have more time así que no les puedo ir preguntando uno por uno but listen tratemos de hacer ese ejercicio a diario okay piensen en un lugar y piensen okay cómo lo describiría all right 
y empiecen a buscar los adjetivos que ustedes utilizarían para describir ese lugar. Empiecen a usar there is con los singulars, there are con los plurals. ¿Ok? Cuando vayan a, a visitar un lugar, ok, vayan observando y vean y traten de decirlo en inglés. ¿All right? Eso les va a ir ayudando y cuando se topen con una palabra que no sepan cómo decirla, anótenla ahí. Dictionary. ¿Entendido? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Okay, everybody, we don't have more time, but tenemos un winner que se tiene que quedar. Y el winner es William. <laughs> Así que William, usted se queda. Los demás, everybody, have a wonderful night. Take care and see you good tonight. Good night. 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 Bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. Hello, William. How are you? Not bad. <laughs> okay. It's almost Friday. So, uh, yes. A little tired? Mm, a little, yes. Okay. I'm a little sleepy. Ah, uh, yeah. Ok, no worries, no le voy a quitar mucho tiempo. Esta pequeña reunión solamente es para aclarar ciertas dudas que usted pueda tener, ya sea sobre la clase o sobre el programa en general, o comentarios que usted quiera compartir. Así que, this is your moment. Mm. Uh -huh. No, de momento pues me parece todo bien. Uh, ¿Cómo está dando la clase usted? Bastante dinámica, por cierto. Y bueno, eso es lo que hablamos con... Con los compañeros del trabajo, yo tengo, quiero ver, cuatro compañeros aquí del, de mi trabajo. Ah, y, you're together here. Yes. Ah, okay. Entonces, de, pues como le comento, todo bien de momento dinámico, uh, introvertido, uh, las prácticas, y bien. Very no, good. Y, todo, y como le menciono a algunos, pues fuera bueno, o quisiéramos que usted siguiera. <risa> well, it will be great. Me gustaría también, lastimosamente no sabemos, <risa> porque ellos son los que organizan pues los grupos, ¿verdad? Así que yeah. hay que esperar a ver qué tal. <risa> Bien, yeah. con respecto a los feedbacks que tengo sobre usted, bueno, la verdad, siempre he estado en clases, así que en cuanto a asistencia, usted tiene una muy buena asistencia, así que lo felicito por ser responsable y mantenerse conectado en la clase. También veo que participa, siempre que está en la clase participa, así que eso también eh, lo felicito por eso y espero que en el siguiente nivel se mantenga así, ¿ok? La of única course. observación sería eh, con la plataforma, tengamos cuidado porque veo que aún no ha terminado la unidad 4 y tampoco Ahorita ha hecho mismo. el examen, así que... Ahorita lo hago. Ah, uh, very good, excellent. Así que eso es lo único. Por lo demás, todo bien, así que creo que estaría listo para irse al siguiente nivel. ¿Ok? Yeah, I'm ready. Excellent, that's the attitude. Eh, no sé si tiene otra duda o algo. No question. Excellent. Very good. Ok, so William, entonces nos quedamos acá. Eh, finish the platform, please. And that's all. No, no, no. no. Right now, right now. Excellent. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye.